Now, if the devil was deceived enough to think he can run up on God, you know he's deceived enough to think he can run up on you. And in and out of your life, in your home, in your family, in your children, and our cities, and our states, and our nation. What we are seeing on planet earth today is the result of spiritual activity gone unchecked. Because the church has not understood the full capacity of our authority. That our authority is in the realm of the spirit. It's over demons and devils and principalities and powers. That's where our authority is. It is in the spirit. Now, if our authority is in the spirit, and if our authority is over spirit beings, then how then do we fight? Glad you asked me. Because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. You can't hit a spirit. You can't cut a spirit. You can't shoot a spirit. So how do I control things in the realm of the spirit? You do it the same way God did it. You open your mouth. Woo-wee! Somebody look at somebody and tell them it's time for you to open your big mouth. Come on, tell them. You've been wanting to tell them that anyway. Open your mouth because underneath your nose is the authority given to you by God as a speaking spirit in the earth realm to seize spiritual activity. You have no idea. That when you got up this morning, if you're born again, demons were hoping you wouldn't say nothing. Because this is how we fight our battle. This is, this is how we fight. We, we fight with our mouth. And what you don't realize is that God has given you his authority that demon spirits have to obey you just like they obeyed him because he handed you the authority. Oh, now you'll understand scriptures like this. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. You're now going to be the ones on earth that have to seize spiritual activity. And in this decade of the mouth, what you're about to see in your life is the greatest decade you have ever lived. Why? Because I said so. Y'all know. You didn't get it. You didn't get it. Which means when you open your mouth and decree it and declare it, spiritual activity is released to bring it to pass. Which means I need a clock somewhere. I need to know how much time I, I really no, I, re, I really do need a clock. No. Baby, make, make sure. Okay. So now. You have to understand this, that you're about to step into 2020 and your 2020 is in your mouth. And your 2021 and 2022, we have not fully grasped the revelations that death and life are in the power, the the authority in the hand of the tongue. 
Why? Because as a speaking spirit authorized by God, when you open your mouth, you start spiritual activity. Your voice registers in two realms. Two realms. Don't ever forget this. That when I open my mouth, there are two audiences listening. There is the natural realm which deals with people. Then there is the spiritual realm that deals with spirits. And when I open my mouth, the spiritual realm releases spiritual activity based on what I say. Amen. That's why, because you have spiritual authority, you got to be very careful about what you say. Because many of you are trying to pray things out of your life that you have spoken into it. You don't understand this is this is dangerous this this is this is this is a weapon of mass destruction or construction you got to be careful with the words that come out of your mouth the bible says bitter water and sweet water can't come out of the same fountain it says you can't bless god and curse men you can't speak healing and then speak sickness you you can't speak wealth and then speak poverty you you oh, you, oh, you, you can't speak wisdom and then say i don't know what to do you you can't do all of that you got to make sure that whatever you're saying is releasing spiritual activity